Oh yes. There you go. Give it to me, baby. You're on fire. More, more. I love that. Ooh. Oh yes. Tonight, on Wonder Lady Today, self proclaimed former supermodel, that Metro Malvo. I consider myself as one of the best. And let's not be being arrogant. I'm just simply stating facts. We've seen him on numerous covers. The young star gained recognition back in 2008 after uploading a self-taken mirror photo to a popular social media site and calling it a selfie. His edgy urban look and androgynous style made him a face to remember throughout the early 2010s. And to everyone's surprise, soon, things would spiral out of control. I couldn't keep up with it all. I didn't know who I was. After landing a leading role portraying Zucchini Jones, a deaf trans woman who later dies on stage during a drag performance after receiving a blow to the temple from a stray bow and arrow. His portrayal in this film gained that measure most of his first Oscar nomination, an award he would later receive. Wow. <laughs> it, uh, it was an honor to play such a powerful character. I feel extremely blessed to have won right after my first movie. Thank you guys so much. The international success of the film catapulted that Metro Mofo to stardom. Feeling the pressures to remain on top, Metro began turning to the party scene as a means of escape. That's when I started drinking this and trying that, you know, turn up, you know, uh, or back then I think it was called get crunk, but. Wow, so you became an alcoholic drug user. Is that why your career dried up? No. Oscar Oates. I never had a substance abuse problem. Only thing I did was a little bit of devil's lettuce, marijuana, God's favorite plant, mother earth, cannabis. That's that's the only thing I did. You know, I ain't, you know, y'all yeah, acting like I was doing some heroin and shit. You know what I mean? That was one time. That was one time. Okay, I did it once. Okay. Boom, I never went back. I see. Okay, cool. You know, I might have had a few months of coke. I had a few months when I was snowing. Uh huh. You know, going on the ski slope, you know, having some white girl. Ah. Uh. Some booger sugar. You know, I might have had a few months of that. <laughs> you know, we're all human, right? Mm. That's what makes us the same. We're all flawed. Very true. So if that wasn't the issue, Metro, what was? I just pulled a Lauren Hill and left while on top of the world. You know, I just needed some time to get to know me again, you know? Away from the fame <laughs> and paparazzi and scandals and the endless adoring, shouting fans yelling your name. It's a lot of problems, you know what I mean? Rich people problems. So why now? Why make a YouTube channel? I just felt deep down, you know, right, right here in the bosom. I felt right here. Okay. In my male bosom mm. that it was time to come back, you know? Call it bosom intuition. All right, so besides the male bosom thing, can you elaborate more on why you decided to come back now? I mean, we got all these old ass washed up 90s bands coming back and making it happen. Why can't I? If SWV can do it, if uh, Escape can do it, if TLC can do it, with one third of the members gone, mm. then why can't I? Yes, but the early 2010s was a while ago. How are you gonna reach a young audience? I'm still young. Deep three funded by the comments of our host, the former supermodel decided to take a 20 minute break. I tell you, they got this brother man talking about he young. <laughs> young like hell. <laughs> Sir, we're recording. Oh, sure. We're recording? <coughs> ah. mm. Mr. Metro, why make a YouTube channel? And again, what can the people expect? Anywho, this channel is about my life. As a former supermodel, I know things. I have areas of expertise, and I would like to share them to benefit both men and women. Wow, beautiful, I love that. However, can you get a little more specific? This channel is about lifestyle. Tips for looking good. Such as makeup, skincare, and other beauty tips and tricks. Feeling good. Such as health and cannabis. With the occasional vlog. So if any of those interest you, make sure you hit that subscribe button, baby. Go ahead. Hit it, baby. All right. Unfortunately, we are out of time. Shit. Yeah. Tune in next week on Where Are They Today to find out what our next guest, Miss Carrie Hilson, has been up to. And yes, don't forget to subscribe. As you can see, you probably won't regret it.